Hey guys, um, welcome back to Hypertora. I've got my nerd block here. It arrived in the uh, post over the uh, weekend, uh, but I've only just got a chance to open it because of uh, a hackathon I was uh, running as well as a uh, Comic Con yesterday. Um, so I was pretty out of it by the time I finished those. Uh, but let's open this up and see what's inside. And uh, as I said with the loot crate, I've hopefully got a proper knife coming soon, so I don't have to keep on opening these boxes with pen leads. <laughs> this is looking pretty cool already. Um, so the theme kind of seems... Uh, I'm not too sure what the theme is. It kind of, but there's a few games of Game of Thrones here that stick, uh, sort of stick out to start off with. So we've got a Grey Worm uh, pop figurine. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, I haven't had a pop figurine in Nerdblock in a little while. So it's nice that they're starting to put some of these things in. Because uh, these are eventually the kind of collectibles and valuable. Um, it's nice that they are bobble heads. I don't think I've ever actually opened one. I've kept them all in the boxes. Um, so it'd be nice to get a double at some point, maybe, of something I'd like to actually be able to take it out of the box. Um, but that's pretty cool. There's a few other kind of Game of Thrones ones you could have got. I don't know if they put them in the uh, nerd block. Um, this one doesn't seem to be a loot crate, uh, nerd block exclusive. But there's a kind of dragon there. I'd love to have that as a figurine. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I always love the pop figurines. They they kind of make the boxes worth the money that you pay for them, um, almost up front, because they tend to be worth 10 to 15 pounds, which is just short of what the box costs. Um, so we've got what looks to be a vinyl figure. Um, we'll open these up because it's a Funko figure. But I'm not too worried about collecting these and keeping them in sort of pristine condition. Um, more. More into collecting the pop figurines. So in addition one, it's the thing, you, you can't see what's inside of these without opening the box. So I don't know how valuable they are when you've opened the box. Um, yeah, so you get a kind of mystery bag inside with these. <laughs> yeah, so you got a nice little Game of Thrones figurine there, which is quite nice. So yeah, winter is coming. So some of you might enjoy that more than I did. That, that's an alright figurine. Um, not the best thing in the world, but it's alright. Next ma main thing that we have in every box: t-shirt, <laughs> nice Marvel Daredevil t-shirt. So this is quite a nice t-shirt compared to the Luke Crate one I just opened. So uh, I, I love the black t-shirts. They don't show up dirt as much, and they're a lot more kind of natural to wear. Uh, compared to that kind of pinky beige one I just had. Um, so that's a pretty cool t-shirt. That's something I can wear every day. So I love loving that. And next up we have a, this is a print on a kind of board to help. There, so uh, Dawn of Justice, Batman versus Superman and all related characters. So that's a D DC Comics. There we've got a few corner protectors. I don't think I've got anywhere to actually hang this. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't know how collectible it is. Um, but even though it's got corner protectors, it kind of seems a bit damaged and scuffed anyway. Um, so I'll keep that somewhere. And then the last thing seems to be a load of... Oh, we've got a few things. William Zapka signed autograph. All right, I don't know how much that's worth. Um, I, I, I haven't actually seen any William Zacker's movies. I only know him from uh, the um, How I Met Your Mother. So uh, otherwise I wouldn't have a clue. That's quite interesting. Uh, whether it's worth anything, I don't know. There, we've got some magnets from Arrested Development. Um, there, some of you might enjoy that. I, I don't think this is my cup of tea, to be honest. Um, so I've never seen Arrested uh, Development. So there's that for you. And then we got a kind of usual kind of teasers for next time. So April will be Weird Al yep, Yankovic taking over Nerd Block. We've also items from Family Eye and Archer. So I look forward to the Family Guy things in there. 
And then we've got, yeah, the card with all the stuff that we've got inside it, telling us what there is. So Karate Kid autographs. So that, that's what it's from. I haven't seen Karate Kid, so. But yeah, that's this box. Um, a couple of okay items in there. Um, not the best block I've had from Nerd Rock, um, but still reasonably good. Um, pop figurine kind of made up for it. And the uh, t-shirt. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video down in the bottom corner and to subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.